Hello, welcome back to the channel for those of you who are new. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so. There's a button below and also a notification bell. Thank you to everyone who hits that like button as well and um, supports the channel. Thank you. So I want to jump on quickly. Remember and alchemy. Yes, at the moment, we have a lot of people <laughs> going through the dark night of the soul, okay? I'm getting a lot of messages, people desperately needing to get in for appointments because um, they're going through a dark night of the soul. And yes, you do have to work through this. And many, many, many people right now are about to go into that energy, all right? I've talked about the eclipse energy coming in. It's time, see, release and move. We are about to go through some deep soul cleansing, all right? So keep that in mind. You are going to have to ground, grieve, and when we have dark night of the soul, you are forced into your emotions. You are forced forced into that to release you will be okay it is just grounding releasing and purging okay and a lot of people ha haven't ever gone into those depths of emotion within themselves all right so please i just wanted to jump on and do a really quick read See this cold, detached, broken, we feel, you know, you've been hiding your feelings, where you've been observing things but not taking action, not dealing with them, not confronting them, not talking about them with yourself or others, okay? Blocking emotions, masks, where you're faking it, where you're facading it, even with yourself, where you let things go, where you let things override, where you don't get in your truth and speak your truth because alignment and higher alignment of self and your path and your mission and your karmic cycles and lessons, we continue to have them throughout our entire existence are all based on the depths of the levels of emotions that you can access to clear and purge your vibration so that you can come into your highest alignment and, and timeline, your highest potential within yourself. The depths to which you can heal are the depths to which you can face truth, authenticity, and within yourself and that is your emotions and your truths truths within ourselves are very hard to look at with the ego nobody wants to look at their dark side their shadow side their mistakes with nothing's a mistake but you get what i mean you know their regrets their hurts their, their and and things that have so you've done within that shadow self whether it's to you, others, others, you, whatever, they are closing out now, so we're forced to grieve them. We're forced to grieve it. We're for it's it's finished, it's cycled. And there's only one thing you can do is get that out. So remember these words. The level to, the level to which you can nurture yourself and others or heal or grow or move into your full potential or your higher timelines if you want to get out of karmic lessons and growth and cycles you must do the deep inner shadow work and nurture work you have to that's you know we we have this discussion all the time with people you know people you know, they want to go on a spiritual journey or they want to be spiritual, they want to do their deep healing. Absolutely, it's fabulous and it is fabulous. And when you come out and you're clear and in alignment and healed, but you can't heal unless you go into the deep, dark shadows. A lot of people try and bypass that by thinking it's fun and fluffy and light and I should always feel nice after a healing or this or that. That is nice and that does happen. 
but you have to go into the dark to come to get into the light. You have to clear the, the shadow, the lower vibration, the ego. See, nurture, cold, ego. See, remember, winter, rebirth. It's for your north node, your higher self node. Higher self knows now. See it? There's an awakening and a timeline shift. That will rock your boat vibrationally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. They are calling for you to step up and evolve. See Pluto transformation, letting go, endings, resilience, transformation, power. A lot of us do see death and, and, and rebirth. Pluto's transformation of the underworld, of the shadow self. Um, if you want to heal, if you want to grow, if you want to feel better, if you want to get into alignment, if you want to create abundance, if you want to um, be, you know, present in in you and await, you know, breaking through your toxicity or toxicity of generational lines or ancestral lines, you have to do the work. You know, where you've been closed off, where you're out of alignment, where you are not growing, where you're toxic, where you're low vibration, that blocks your abundance. And abundance isn't just money. People think abundance, money. No, it's abundance of love, nurture, care, energy, light, um, abundance of um, gratitude, joy, like everything comes in. When we say everything comes into alignment, your abundance comes when you're in absolute alignment and your truth and you're out of your ego and you you can deal with your shadow side you come into such alignment that things just start to flow harmonious with how they should be in order and then your abundance comes through but you have to actually move through this you know toxicity unions you know trust self-love comes in where you're guarded releasing loss or grief or suffering you have to do this you know external parties people that are not in alignment everything and, and sometimes that's the hardest thing to face i'm not in alignment with example my partner or or um my situation or um a group or a friendship or, or whatever it is we can feel very lost we can feel very fearful it's time to take that action get into um and, and self-care from disharmony. But disharmony, again, is within the self. Clarity. Any dark night of the soul purging, any anything like that, it brings clarity to you. And yes, it's going to trigger you. You are trigger warning. Trigger, trigger, trigger. You're not being triggered. You're not healing. If you're not uncomfortable, you're not healing. Does the light and the beautiful and the and the calm and the peace and it come after? Yes, absolutely. If you're not doing this, you're not healing. You're not healing. Inner child, reflection, see? Timing cut, epiphany, shifts. You that's the other thing. When you go into that darkness and you come out, when you come out, you see everything, every story, every situation from a high perspective. You see it from another angle. You see why things end, close out, cycle, why they happen, why they had to happen, the growth. You see it from a higher perspective and then you can't go back into a vibration. That's when you're healed, when you can't go back into a vibration. You might, you might attempt it, but you pull yourself out of it. But the dark night of the soul really pulls you in. It, it breaks down. It distorts all of the um, energy. Where are those cards? Hmm. There. Let's just check this out for you guys. It breaks down the foundation that you're built on. <coughs> That's what it does. I'm going to wrap it up in a minute. This was just a quick one because I am having a lot of people say that, but you have to go through this. You have to purge this. Oh, my God. It wants to be there. Um, see, bringing you back into spiritual union with yourself. 
destiny stepping in. This is forced stuff. This is where I find that people start to really lose and flip out because they're not in control. They can't block those emotions. They can't shut it off. They can't, you know, there's a spiritual destiny now that is like turning up the vibration, turning up the frequency, turning up the sound, right? So we're really noticing things and we're really irritated by things or noticing or seeing something from another perspective. And then we're like, oh my God, I can't be in this energy. Oh my God, like, you know, and it is a big shock. It really is. And you, you have to understand that everybody's going through it. Yeah, fertility, see? Energy shifts, rebirthing yourself. Try up seven over spiritual challenges. You're, you're going to come out with wisdom. You're going to come out with wisdom. There'll be memories and, and you'll be letting some memories go. But there's a lot of wisdom in, in why and, and how and you realize you, you get through it. But emotions can really throw us off. Ground, get in nature. You see, trapped in fear. Trapped in fear, a spiritual union. Now that can be just with yourself, like your own spirituality. Trapped, you know, the fears are, are, are stopping you. Um, solar plexus, destiny, the soul calling. There is a soul calling. There is a soul knowing. There is a soul healing. There is a soul elevate, ev <laughs> elevation, growth, transformation, next level. It's a bit of a tongue twister. And crown chakra, you're receiving these messages, upgrades, and, um, you know, when we have an upgrade, whoa, that can knock you around. You know, you have ascension symptoms, you have to purge all these emotions, you feel really unstable, you feel really anxious because triumph with new beginnings is coming in, a new you is about to step forth. Your wisdom, you're stepping into the light. Look at the light. Beautiful. This is the breakthrough you've needed. This is the breakthrough that you called in. This is the breakthrough that you prayed to the gods or, or ancestors or spirit guides or whoever. This is who what you prayed for. And you can't, you have to go through the shadow, guys. You have to. You have to heal. You have to purge. You have to ascend you have to move it go into a frequency that's just going to make you feel worse before you feel better that's just how it works into harmony see six six relationship harmony you got to release stuff power the base and solitude so see new foundation, the wisdom stepping through the light. You're only, you're going through an upgrade. You are definitely going through an upgrade. You have a new foundation. You have a, a new understanding, a new wisdom. You're seeing things from a different perspective. It's like when you see something, you can't unsee it. When you have a breakthrough, you can't go back. When you elevate, the frequency's changed. We have to accept this stuff. That's what surrender is. Solitude and harmony, nine, completion. You are going to come back into full circle and then make some changes and directions. You have to get through your obstacles first, your challenges first, to get this harmony and coming together. Awareness. Spirit is bringing in some massive, massive massive awareness and activation to your crown and you do have to sit in silence or you might have to be, feel that you are suffering in silence nine to the one we've got completion and new beginning again nine one nine one six six five transformation over obstacles you are going to get through this accelerated um ascension eight there's the eight and there's the light it's coming through just Go through it. See the eight, the, the eight moving, moving into the direction, the flow of the natural cur currents and order. There's no way out of this. You have to grieve the heartache and loss 
you have to rest and re rejuvenate and then victory comes in after transformation okay so that is actually what's happening um guys i am booked out so you know i i i am getting the cancellations messages lists where people wanting to know but that's why i jumped on quickly before i start um i'm trying to get you guys in or or if i i do get your messages but um Everybody is going through this right now. We have to understand it as a collective and just understand it on a deeper level. Um, it is all about re reward uh, reward and recognition of everything. And when you do this work, spirit does reward you. There will be mental conflict. You are going to feel very mentally conflicted. You are. That That's part of it. See? It's your power coming through, embracing your power, stepping back into your power, okay, choosing wisely and balance. And what I mean by choosing wisely and balance is you will be reevaluating everything right now. Choose wisely. If you are really triggered, you need solitude, you need quiet, you need grounding, you need grieving, you need rejuvenation, you need to detach you from, you know, be in your own energy, clear your energy field. If it's um, rejuvenate, get clear, get away from uh, anyone or anything that will trigger you into a trauma or pull you back or conflict you. Um, it's particularly when you're going through a dark night of the soul because that's when things can get very messy. That's when we totally will go off path or get pulled back. So you have to have this awareness because it's about you stepping in and empowering yourself above that so it is like a bit of a, a, a universal or um your guides challenge challenging you or ancestors or whoever because they want to step in and test you right now okay and and that test is about you being in your own self empowerment i know it's hard hey uh, it's very hard is some of the hardest transformation you'll do right now, particularly in these eclipse seasons, but it'll be the biggest transformation you ever do. And when you come out, oh, the reward, the energy, the alignment, that are amazing. Like you will feel rebirthed, reborn, okay? So please be aware, um, and I will try and get back to as many as possible that I can. Okay, take care. Bye. <laughs>